And we're rolling. Action. Action. always been interested in having like light colored eyes. I used to wear uh, colored contacts all the time, um, but it was basically because I couldn't see and I used the contacts for vision correction. And then when I got uh, my laser surgery, there was no need to wear the contacts anymore. So I kind of did away with having like the uh, colored contacts at all. And I kind of missed the way they used to look. So I'm going back to the light colored eyes, pretty excited about that. Um, when I talked to Spencer over at Bright Ocular, he was just, uh, he kind of explained the, the, the whole procedure and it seemed really awesome to me. Uh, I had some time to research it and uh, after I checked it all out and found out that it was basically what I wanted to have done, yeah, I, he was really quick and amazing to work with. He always you know, replied to my answers really quickly and uh, I'm stoked to get it done. I'm really, really happy. Um, I think uh, Dr. Varky is going to do an amazing job and uh, really happy to get over there and get things done. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Torin Green. Um, it's been quite a trip. Uh, it started off with uh, me looking into changing my eye color. I went online and uh, found a bright ocular. So I had a chance to check it out. I saw tons of testimonials, and everything looked amazing with the company. And uh, you know, I checked into the safety of it and made sure that everything was, was good. I mean, it, it's your eyes you're talking about, after all. When I reached out to the company, I talked to Spencer. And Spencer was really amazing at uh, getting everything, you know, answered, any question that I had, he answered right away. Um, he was very informative, um, you know, there was, I didn't really feel like there was any shadiness or anything like that. He was just very forthcoming and, and that's what I, and that's what anybody I think really needs to see and hear when it comes to doing something this major uh, as far as like uh, procedures to their, uh, to change their life. All right, ever since I was a little kid, I had like uh, really terrible vision. I uh, was a kid with Coke bottle glasses, and uh, that was basically my look, my, my style. <laughs> Until I was about a sophomore uh, in high school when uh, I started wearing contact lenses. Um, because I used contacts to see, I was like, well, let's jazz it up a little bit and put some color on there. So I went with uh, blue uh, contact lenses. And I wore those for a lot of years. And uh, I don't know, I kind of felt like my personality sort of developed around like the blue-eyed version of myself. And uh, if that makes any sense at all. But uh, I, you know, I went uh, into a few bands and I went on tour and I had a lot of photos taken and that was just kind of like, I don't know, part of the me that it, you know, become. And uh, I guess right around, I don't know, a few years ago, I got uh, laser corrective surgery. I was fortunate enough to, to do that and my vision became uh, perfect, which means I didn't have to have contacts anymore. So, you know, back to my natural eye color it came. And, it, you know, not that it was a terrible color to have, it was just really different than what I was used to. So I kind of missed it, and uh, I was always looking for a way to to kind of make it a more permanent change. So you know, this this whole procedure that I found with Bright Ocular, I was basically the answer to my dream. You know, it was basically what it gave me the opportunity to do something that I've always wanted to do, which was which was have a lighter uh, color eye. You know, which was more along the gray blue lines. I was really fortunate to get Dr. Varkey as my uh, surgeon on this. He's you know very, very skilled. He's been doing it for 30 years and uh, he and his staff are very, very professional and uh, just, you know, very personable and you can tell that he genuinely cares about his patients and that's something that, you know, any patient who's having a procedure done of this, you know, caliber really appreciates. And a lot of people know me from the band uh, Fuel. I was the singer of that band for a few years, really fortunate to be in that position. Um, had a great time. Um, after that, I did a couple tours for a band called Apocalyptica. Really amazing guys, you know, all classically trained from Finland. Um, after that, I formed my own band called For the Taking in New York. Recorded some stuff as a solo artist, and uh, from that point, uh, released all that stuff on iTunes. So you can go to iTunes, uh, Amazon, 
and find uh, you know single under tour in green, which is uh, pretty cool. Like I'm pretty stoked to have that music out there. And more recently, I'm actually the lead singer of a band called Out West. So check out the Out West. Uh, it's an amazing, you know, new project, and uh, you're going to be hearing a lot from that band real soon. And uh, again, I'm going to be doing some stuff in movies and things like that as well. So be sure to uh, check it out. One of my favorite things about India is the food. Uh, I've had some really good stuff since I've been here. Uh, dosa, I guess, is a really good one. It's almost like a like a type of crepe. And then you have these uh, dipping sauces called chutney. Um, I believe they call it. Tomato chutney, we would say tomato, but tomato chutney and a coconut chutney. And uh, it's just, they eat it for breakfast and it's kind of like somewhat spicy. And uh, for me, spicy is always good. So, loving that stuff. Again, the, one of the fun parts of traveling is getting to experience the culture. And the food is one of those amazing things about India. So, come try it out. I've had an awesome time in India. This is definitely a place that everybody has to come check out. We uh, had a chance to go check out some temples and some churches, uh, did a lot of photos out there. It's just really cool. The people here are very, very friendly. They're, uh, they're so sincere, and it just seems like everybody really wants to like uh, help each other. You know what I mean? The traffic is crazy. Like, you know, you, the people wouldn't expect what you see here on the roads. I mean, people riding three, four people on a motorcycle. Um, babies, kids, cows on the road. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of crazy, but uh, it's an adventure for sure. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's cool because this whole procedure is not only giving me the chance to get the procedure itself, but a chance to go out and have an adventure as well, and it's, it's been awesome. So again, um, come check out India. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yes, so, uh, this has our CGS morning. Everything is a-okay. Uh, healing really fast. The doctor says that uh, it looks like I've been sleeping all night when I only had surgery like an hour ago. But anyway, here's the results. Permanently changed. Ice gray. Ice gray. Yeah. Ice gray. It's less than an hour. Looking certain lights kind of here. It's like bluish tone to them. So I want to make this one video. But really stoked to have these and uh, really excited to get out and see more of India. And then uh, a few more checkups and then on the way home. All right, we'll see you.